Now, yesterday, Kodak Black was visiting Hot 97 for an interview and something went down during the interview that a lot of people have been talking about. And what exactly happened? Well, this right here happened. We don't have to talk about nothing else. We could be done right here. All right, I'm gone. Say less. That's a bummer. Uh... As you can see, Kodak Black straight up just walked out of the interview, but there was actually a couple things that led up to this point, so let's talk about it. First of all, let me just say that this interview was extremely bad already from the get-go. I mean, if you've seen it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. The first 30 seconds of the interview told me that this wasn't really gonna end well for the simple fact that there was a lot of negative energy coming from Ebro's side. It really felt like he had already made up his mind about Kodak, which didn't really make it feel like an interview. In the first 25 seconds of it, Kodak Black gets addressed as this, yes, T-H-I-S, instead of as a person. I gotta be honest, I was skeptical um, on doing this interview. I saw your other interviews where he's wearing like a ski mask and all that, and I was like, ah, I'm not really interested in talking to this. But This part really set the extremely bad tone for the interview, and you'll see what I mean. I gotta say, I looked at your rap sheet, I looked at your weed charges, smoking weed in front of your kid on the gram, and different things you've been going through. Um, and I know it's sensitive, but how you feel about everything that's going on? How about maybe we start talking about the music and then we ease into his legal charges maybe? It really felt like Ebro was purposely trying to make Kodak uncomfortable from the beginning. I'm all for everyone being responsible for their own issues. There's just a certain level of professionalism you gotta have, but clearly that's not what we saw here. So fast forward to Kodak getting kicked out. This is what Ebro said right before that happened. Looking at all your, your cases and everything you've been through, and I know the recent one right now is very sensitive. And with respect to, you know, everybody involved in that case, you know, we can't get into details today. And then after he addresses and acknowledges that Kodak can't openly speak about a case that's still open and continuing, he says this. But, you know, we take sexual assault here serious and we can't, you know, uh, get into details, but we hope, you know, to have you back so we can have a, a deeper conversation about that. And then to break the ice, Rosenberg comes up with this genius idea to start talking about moon landings. Kodak, do you believe that our moon landing in 1969 actually took place. What the fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and then last but not least, Kodak challenges them to change the subject or else he'll walk out, which he eventually does. Change the subject or I'm finna walk out. We don't have to talk about nothing else. We could be done right here. All right, I'm gone. Say less. Well, that's a bummer. Uh... Now, I have a couple of issues with this entire situation. The first one being, if you really take sexual assault seriously, then why would you even want to have this person who's facing these allegations on your show in the first place? Clearly, there's only one reason for it, which is you know that his name will give you clicks and views and publicity, which it did, by the way, because you were trending with over 50,000 tweets last night, so I guess mission complete. I just see a lot of hypocrisy and a very unnecessary situation that could have been avoided so easily. So let's look at some information regarding what Kodak Black is currently up against in this sexual assault case. Now, on February 7th, 2016, Kodak Black apparently raped a teenage girl in a hotel room after one of his shows. Allegedly, the girl was helplessly screaming for help, and according to reports, that's when Kodak pushed her onto the bed and continued raping her. Now, keep in mind, these are, of course, allegations that Kodak is facing, and there's a common misconception and some false information being spread that Kodak is a certified rape when he's yet to be convicted. So, I think it's very important to mention that, but then again, we're talking about people on Twitter who nowadays never really take their time to read an article. Instead, they just go off the headline that they're reading, assuming that the headline is 100% accurate. Anyway, then again, this is obviously not me making light of victims who have been assaulted in any kind of way. I mean, no sensible human being would ever do that. The biggest issue with this interview, though, is the fact that Kodak Black was being talked to like it was confirmed that he did the crime. And anyone knows that if there's a slight chance that you may be innocent, you should not be talking about an ongoing case at all because everything you say will be used against you. I mean, that's common knowledge, and especially on a radio station where the people who are interviewing you definitely don't have your best interest just like we saw on this interview. I don't personally blame Kodak for even walking out. I mean, what could have he done differently? He went to this interview expecting to talk about everything but the allegations that he's facing. On top of that, the people who are supposed to make him comfortable during that interview did the complete opposite, made him uncomfortable, and he had to face all this negative energy as soon as the interview starts. There seems to be a lot of people who are representing everyone who is on Kodak's side as evil people, and I just think that's completely wrong. It's simple, right? 
right is right and this is not about protecting a bad person it simply comes down to integrity and respect if kodak black is guilty and it turns out that he did what he did then straight up fuck him what i'm not gonna do is let the perception i have of him decide whether or not he's guilty and at the end of the day that's why i think a lot of people are messing up and that's exactly what happened in this entire situation but what do you personally think about this instance where kodak black straight up just walked out of that interview as you could see do you think what he did was justified or do you think it was not justified by the way i'll leave a link to the interview in the description below with a timestamp on when kodak black exactly walks out so yeah definitely check it out and let's have a discussion about this